we're going to walk you through using your Apple AirPods with any non-iOS device. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. So you just got a brand new Galaxy S10 and you wanna use your favorite AirPods with those devices. It is very easy to do and we're gonna walk you through that process and what changes when you're using it on a different platform. To get started, I have a couple of phones and my AirPods. It's worth noting, this will work with any device that's not an iPhone. So it could be the S10e, the S10 Plus, a Windows PC, basically anything that you can connect standard Bluetooth headphones to, this will work. So to start, we are going to take our AirPods, make sure they're charged, and make sure each of those buds are in the case. We're then going to go to our device, in this case our Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, and we're gonna open up our Bluetooth settings. From there, we need to make sure that Bluetooth is in fact enabled. Once we've ensured that Bluetooth is on, we're going to turn to the AirPods. With the buds in the case, we're gonna open it up and turn it around. You'll see that small little white button there on the back. We're gonna go ahead and press that just for a few seconds and two things will happen. The light on the AirPods, in this case it's in the top there, it'll start flashing white and on your device, you'll see something like Andrew's AirPods appear. This may take a few moments to work and you actually may see a confirmation screen pop up to confirm the pairing. If you don't, that's fine as well, but just in a few moments, the AirPods should be paired and you can see them here on the top of my Bluetooth list. I can go ahead, throw them in my ears and start listening to music. They work both as an audio device as well as a headset for taking calls. Even though we're on Android, we still have access to the touch functionality on the AirPods. Just by a double tap of either earbud, it will either play or pause the music. In our testing, these were very accurate, whether we were using them with our iPhone or with our S10 Plus. When you are finished using your AirPods with your S10 Plus, your Windows PC, whatever it is, just go into your Bluetooth settings. In this case, we'll click on that gear icon, and then I'm gonna tap on unpair. It also may say something like forget. Doing so will erase them from the phone and you're free to use them with your iPhone, iPad, Mac, Apple Watch, Apple TV. That automatic iCloud pairing will still remain intact. You will not have to repair these with your iPhone. Things you will lose out on, however, when you switch from your iPhone to the Android device are things like that automatic pairing and these little on-screen widgets that can tell you things like your battery life of the AirPods. You also don't get to take advantage of the customization options. If we go into our iPhone, we go into Bluetooth settings and we tap on AirPods. Here we can change the name and change what those double taps do on either AirPod. We wanted to invoke Siri, play pause, skip forward, skip back, or nothing at all. You can assign a different function to each individual AirPod. You can also turn on and off ear detection and determine which headphone, which AirPod will use the microphone, whether it's automatic, left, or right. Whether you've jumped ship from an iPhone to an Android, you wanna use your AirPods at work, or you need to pair them with other gear, say in a plane or while at the gym, pairing your AirPods with non-iOS and Apple devices is extremely simple to do. If you have any questions at all, let us know down below in the comments and let us know which your favorite headphones are. Enjoy that video? Click like and press on that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the Apple Insider Price Guide that has the best deals on Apple devices and is updated daily. Follow us on social media and we'll see you guys in the next video.